My man Hobin got that shy boy Riz. He may have dropped 140,000 yen on that, you know, what was it? Was it just an Adidas jacket? Was it a Gucci jacket? I don't know. It was some brand, you know, luxury brand shit. And then he's like, oh, you're wearing it too, you know? And like our date had it and it's like everything is going well. Bomi has it, we have it. But then he's kind of acting a little shy and nervous and... The public perception, especially in Korea, we are uh, the the culture there is like it's very superficial. A lot of a lot of uh, y y you know how there are gold diggers. You know, girls will go only go after guys with like a lot of money and kind of status and stuff like that. But I feel like in Korean society, some of those factors are even more exaggerated. It's like if you if you're not this hot, if you don't have this kind of job, this kind of money, this kind of prestige, what kind of family you are. You'll get shunned, so you kind of see that from Hoban's perspective of living like a loser the entire time, hearing like the other people talk shit. But Bomi doesn't give a fuck. But then Hoban was like, it's getting into his head, and Bomi was feeling bad, but then what did he do? He did a bunch of shy boy race, and the fucking dagger was him sitting in the seat where the sun was shining for Bomi so that she wouldn't get sweaty. I'm like, this guy's got it. This guy's fucking got it. But the problem is, there is the actual main character of the show. I think his name is like Myungsu or something. Myungbin, I don't fucking know. The tall MMA rookie god guy, right? He's got the same fucking jacket as us. All three of us are same seats right now. Are we gonna be third wheeling? Is this guy, you know, as, what's the word? Kind of scary and intimidating as he seems. Or is he actually a gentle giant? Or maybe, is he gay? And then maybe what if it's like, Bomi's the one that's third wheeling. I don't fucking know. Let's begin today's reaction though. Humiliation is today's episode. <laughs> this is not good. The episode title is Humiliation. Like, oh no, oh no, please, please don't do this like this. Come on, bro. Yeah, you should have probably just been honest, man. I bet she would have been fine, even if you said you weren't good friends. Maybe Moonsung will flush, though. He'll read between the lines. Alright! He's kind of helping! That's a freebie? Uh, uh, close enough, close enough. Are, are you a fan? Are you a fan? Well, he does MMA. Could he not coach us? Yes, we have, you know, a chicken man that can like teach us different concepts and stuff. But this guy actually has real fighting experience. Could he not like start to coach us and help us out? Is this the start of a beautiful friendship? Oh, yeah, we're same Z's, man. <laughs> same Z's. <laughs> the beta cook subconsciously submit to the alpha of the room. I hate that it may be really happy for a moment, bro. End moment? No, Crunchyroll, what the fuck are you doing with the subtitles? Come on, that's a consonant, but... This is like some fucking snafu season one shit where Hachiman was like, shit, I instinctively, you know, felt good when other, you know, social elites, you know, it said try to include me. Same Z's! Ugh! <laughs> <sighs> Young Su and Hobin. Nah, fuck Bowie. Get, get, get Bobin out of here, bro. Yeah, that's right. Hobin Moonsong. Get, get the girl out of here in the picture. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well, yeah. Traditionally, I mean, look, he's tall. He's handsome. He's both. Look at the fucking wide shoulders, man. But like, I think some people actually enjoy a different uh, ship, right? Traditionally, you know, you know, you want like the dominant big guy and like the girl, but sometimes, you know, shy guy and you know, maybe dominant girl's not so bad, right? Or maybe we just fucking cut out the middle and we go Byung-soo and Hobin. Hobin is the Omega, that's right. Hobin is the Omega. And what does the Omega do in heat? They excrete pheromones at the alpha <laughs> Myung-soo in this, you know, scenario. <laughs> or Moonsong, you're right, Myung Moonsong. He cannot resist the temptations, the Omega pheromone and heat. Ew, why would you say that? What the fuck kind of excuse is that? We're gonna have to fucking fake the limp too, man. It's all in his head. 
<laughs> Ingrown toenail as an excuse is so lol. <laughs> lol, this is funnier than the fights, lol. I agree, chat's fucking popping off. How the fuck did they hear that far away? Yo, what the fuck? Look at the distance, bro. Snapper is that far away. How good is this fucking mic capturing the audio from this far away? On the back! Because a taller, better looking dude showed up and I feel insecure. <laughs> He's the ingrown toenail. Oh. Well, it's again, right? It's like a whole lifetime of living as like a, a loser. So his mentality is just completely shot, right? So he's just assuming his natural role in the societal hierarchy, but Bomi doesn't care about that. Bomi don't care. What the fuck? Why are you so cool all of a sudden? This is so motivational. Yeah, but if you don't fight, you'll never win either. And you're gonna live a coward's life. This one thing you call life. This one thing that you have. And you're gonna decide to live hiding like a coward because you're afraid to lose. I think a lot of people can relate to this, right? A lot of people kind of like hide in their shell. You get rejected by a girl. I'm never gonna ask a girl out again because then I will never get rejected. But you'll never win either. Life is as high as high as the lows are as low. But if you're just gonna hit this medium part and live a mediocre life the entire time, by the end, you're gonna have regrets and realize that maybe, maybe I should have done something. Maybe I should have actually gave it a shot, but by then it's too late. What the fuck? Oh! This is a slam dunk reference. I think this is a slam dunk reference. This is the scene where the three-point shooter, when he's a gangster with long hair in the beginning, comes back and I think the Aizen Sensei? I, 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 what was his name? Something Sensei, right? And he says, I, I love basketball. And he starts crying. <laughs> Yes, this is a slam dunk reference. Anzai! He's spitting! Snapper is so cool right now, what the fuck? You think Snapper did this for Hoban? I don't think so. I think he realizes, ah shit, this motherfucker's about to lose. He's giving up? The stream viewership's going down. No! I need him to get back in there and make me money! Get the fuck back in there! <laughs> Bro is just so ready for content at all times. The show must go on. And you call yourself a friend snapper? Lol. I'd hate to have him as a friend, sir. I want to play. Oh, this is the line right over here. The third comment. I want to play basketball. That's what the, the gangster on his knees says to Coach Anzai in the iconic scene in Slam Dunk. What? Alright. Alright, but you and me, we can get a strawberry parfait, right? Oh, oh, he's said his name. Yo! Is he is acknowledging a rookie like us based off the YouTube videos. He sees potential. He could totally coach us, maybe? Yeah, that's right. He knew. Jumping in with your head, right? The next move. move. There's a part two? Part one is to just get hit. Because we, we never knew how to actually, you know. That's right. We didn't see the next videos. We only learned how to take a hit without getting taken damage, right? But it's like, how do we strike back? He needs to teach us. He's an actual fan! What if he is Chicken Man? No, I don't believe it. No, the Chicken Man is a random dude that's abroad that has like a, you know, bad accent because he's a foreigner, right? There's no shot. It makes no sense. The Chicken Man is some kind of like American person, right? He's some kind of foreigner, he, he, he speaks, you know, 
you know, funny Japanese, it can't be, but like, could you imagine? No, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be. So, wanna go on another date, like tomorrow? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you're making fire. Uh, let me, let me see. Uh, short, ugly, poor, uh, no friends, no social standing, uh, loner. What, did I say that already? Poor? Did I mention that? That's you, right? What, 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 what does she see in Hoban? What, what does she see? Um, she did kind of like save her against Pak Go during that 30 second burger challenge. So maybe that heroism was like, wow, you're so brave, even though you're kind of small. So... Maybe that's what it is? <laughs> honest. Has he... He's been nothing but honest. Sorry, everything but... Has he been honest to Bomi? Really? He's just been lying and lying and lying. <laughs> Somehow we've been just, you know, getting lucky and getting bailed out here and there, but... Um, <laughs> Bomi, that's you. Let's say it, bro. You're on a date. <laughs> Oh, okay, the, 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 the embodiment of my ideals is a bit too much. I didn't say. I don't think he actually said it right. He, he, he thinking this in his head. He didn't actually say embodiment of my ideals. That's uh kind of poetic. I don't know. Maybe creepy. Oh, snap! <laughs> Bro, come on! <laughs> Paco, Paco, Paco. Paco. <laughs> what is this sweater? What is this sweater, bro? I can't take you seriously. Bro. You wanna fight? Let's go, let's go. Yeah. I protect you, let's go. Nah, she's not interested in you. Right, so he go, she goes out with him, she's a fucking whore, but if she went out with Paco, she wouldn't be. What kind of fucking logic? You can't get provoked. Calm. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. So the straight doesn't work, he'll just go from underneath. But now, right, you know, in like fighting games, there's like these, it's like a rock, paper, scissors, right? So if he knows that we're going to go in with their head, and if we know that he's going to come up with this, then we simply counter around that. But how do we counter the uppercut while feigning into like a straight into a head? <laughs> Shit, he might be done already, actually. <laughs> What's the next move? I don't know! I think bros concussed. The brain is fucking just wobbling this brain. What is this monologue? Going his entire life story right now. Bro, should've stayed a Sigma, man. This is what happens when you get a girl. You gotta stay locked in. You need to fucking lock in and watch that fucking video, man. But if he's gonna go for an uppercut every time, you can anticipate that and counter that. But how do we do that? At least Bomi's not here and she fucking, you know, got out of here. Bomi's still here! She had to watch it! Oh, this is the worst. This is humiliation. Oh, we're hitting rock bottom today, huh? Episode title was called Humiliation. That's it. We're hitting rock bottom. But this might be important, right? Because, like, this is very important. Because so far, he had all this early success. And he got cocky. And he started to not lock in. But after this, this will be ingrained into him. And he won't take this shit lightly anymore. It sucks. これ以上見せめな姿を見せたくない。さっさと終わらせたい。朝宮に竹は知られたくなかった。よ、ジャック、you're still here。This uh, is some next level cuckoldry, man. <laughs> 
yo, this is less intimidating and more sussy with, you, with your pants up. Baku, I didn't, I didn't know you like it like that, bro. You want homies get and display? <laughs> yeah, kind of sus, bro. <laughs> <laughs> of all things you could have said. So are they still broadcasting off of our stream? Or is it off of Paco's stream? I don't know. Right? Snapper is right still being the cameraman. I don't know whose stream this is right now. He's, I think this is Paco's? Do we have? But it's our stream. Maybe it's still the same stream. <laughs> Snapper's just a cameraman, man. You can't expect him to fight. Okay, this is kind of weird. Wait, 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 this is happening right now? Wait, 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 wait. Is this happening in real time? Not imagination! Holy shit! You gonna hit her? You gonna hit her? Yeah, I'm not gonna punch a girl live on stream, but I'll like say it. So like, don't watch this. I'm still gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it off stream. What kind of humiliation ritual is this? I... 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 Oh... What could... I don't... He can't fight back right now, I guess. So, like, he has to just take his fucking pants off and apologize. Like, oh... Oh... And the fucked up thing is... This is the first time Bomi sees her potential future boyfriend taking, her, taking his pants off. By another dude making him do it in front of her. Is Bomi also getting cucked right now? This is like cuckception. Paco is juggling like Hoban's getting cucked. Bomi's getting cucked. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Nah, we can't do that. <laughs> What can he do right now? Is he taking his boxes off? Is he about to show his dick on stream? So, wait, what's going on? Wait, 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 wait. I've never seen Paco this intimidated before. Wait, because like, if he takes, if he whips his dick out, and the live stream has to get canceled, right? You can't show that. You're going to get banned. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay, so it is Paco's channel that we're streaming through. I thought we were still with viral hit. Channel? No, no, no. We're on Paco's channel right now to the live stream, so we're gonna get his ass fucking banned. <laughs> How big? Yo, did you hear that? Wait, 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 wait. We couldn't see it, but you could hear the rustling, and the amount of rustling indicates that he's packing something shmeedy in there. Listen. That's gotta be minimum nine inches flaccid. Wait, what, wait, <laughs> what the I, what are we doing? <laughs> I, this is total humiliation. I don't even know. I mean, no, Moonsong is not humiliating us, but like, what is, I'm a grown ass man. Are you picking me up by my tidy whities in front of the girl? I love, what, what is going on? What is, what is going on right now? Cool. I honestly don't know what's worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, though. Oh, the real main character! Pop, 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 pop! Holy shit! Fight back! Fight back! God, he's so cool! Yeah, Hogan's not looking too good, man. I could never show my face in front of this girl ever again. Like, we've been stripped of all our dignity. And even at the end, we couldn't even do that because Moonsang had to save us. This is a level of humiliation that I didn't even think was possible. Holy shit. I could never be the same again. This is going to change a fucking man. This is literally super villain origin stories. What is this going to do to him? Is he going to like fundamentally change? Leave me alone. I got to be alone. This is so fucked. Yellow jacket girl's been watching the entire time. Is she crying? I think she is, right? This is Rain, obviously, around her. But I think also she is crying at the side of this. Why is she so involved in this? 
I think she was like a super fan, right? So she's crying the side of, you know, Hoban in this state. Is that the real shit? Just super fan stock? Yo, this rap soundtrack. <laughs> Who just does that, bro? Why'd you hit me? This is funny and fucked up at the same time. But it's true. Kids are just fucking dumb. Kids are fucking just angry and upset. So they lash out. They have no reasoning, right? So in this situation, you can't do anything. You can't reason with an unreasonable person. You just simply have to be higher than them in this fucking food chain of a hierarchy. <laughs> Bro, come on! Bro just needs to go on this Sigma mindset mentality, man. He just needs to get on that grind, just locked in, this Mew, and then time skip, and then we're gonna come back better than ever. But is, is he actually gonna change? Is he gonna change or is he just self pitying? Ooh. They gonna. Whoa, did you hear that? They gonna try to hold you down? Oh, we may look terrible, but the soundtrack is peace. Ain't no way you fucking drew in this line here for the butt crack. That's fucked up. <laughs> What now? You better fucking watch all of Chicken Man's videos. You know what? I like this better. This, because like before, okay, Paco, I don't like the guy, but like before he used to fake his persona on stream, right? He's like, oh, Paco here. Oh, we're going to have so much fun today. But now after the, you know, the fake apology video and everyone kind of knows his true personality, he's like, nah, mask off. This is who I am. I'm a fucking asshole. Fuck you. And the interesting thing about this is that the public perception is going to be good. People don't really care if you're like an ethically good person or not. Morally corrupt, morally good. None of that really matters. What matters is that you're entertaining, but also that you are being authentic, showing your genuine self. Because people online can definitely tell when you're putting up an act. And when people figure that out, everything comes collapsing down. It's like a house of cards that you built up. But if you embrace that side that you thought was kind of bad, then suddenly people kind of love you. It's like the Koenji effect in Classroom of the Elite. It's like the Donald Trump effect in real life. Everyone can acknowledge Donald Trump is a fucking piece of shit, psychopath. But he's such a petty motherfucker. And he's kind of got that charisma when he starts talking. And he, he said he said some petty ass shit like nobody drinks Diet Coke except fat people. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's kind of funny. <laughs> Pac goes here. He's playing a new character. Low. <laughs> See, he's funnier than before. I like this version better. Just be honest with the people, right? You don't have to be some kind of like beacon of justice or some hero. Just be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this us in episode one? Poor Snapper. <laughs> Alright, I guess he's not showing up to school anymore. And <laughs> Bomi calling Hoven? Unreachable. He's just gone. He's just gone offline. What is he doing? I hope. He's like grinding. I hope he's watching all the fucking Chicken Man videos. I hope he's genuinely working out. Maybe even getting coached. The next time we see him, I hope he's fucking different. 15 missed calls. Regular people? The training! Muster up the drive to change yourself. People only change when they hit rock bottom. People will never change until they feel the need to change, and that never happens. Even direct intervention from other people will never happen. They need to hit rock bottom and come to a realization that shit, something's gotta change. It's gotta be internal. True. In. Anger against yourself. Yo, let the hate flow through you. Damn. Yo, chicken man, quite motivational. You know, 
Snapper was pretty motivational earlier on today's episode too, but Chicky Man is absolutely right. All this bullshit that the successful people try to sell you on, right? How to become rich, how to do this, right? Oh, if you just read my book, nah, nah, nah. The reason they're making these books is because that's how they make the money. You see on TikTok, all these different shit. Oh, this is how you, you know, can make 10, you can make like 10 grand a month just working from home. It's like, oh, how do you do it? You better go to the link and buy my course. Nah, that's all bullshit. True miracles don't happen unless you put your life on the line and grind. Sacrifice everything and just dedicate your entire being into this one single thing. Every day you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, even if you don't want to get out of bed, how bad do you want it? And I would tell myself, more than anything, more than anyone, every fucking day, you do that shit, becomes a routine, and then consistently, day by day, you see little incremental changes. And every time you hit a new goal, every time you feel that incremental progress, you motivate yourself. It's like this positive reinforcement loop. Chicken Man is correct. Entire month, one month training camp. Is Bro literally streaming? Is baiting Hoban to show up? That's what he's been doing for like an entire. Well, oh, I don't know how much time has passed. What is up with Paco and taking dude's pants off? I feel like there's something here that needs to be addressed. Paco, what's going on, my man? Every time you're just so focused on another man's pants coming off. I understand it's trying to humiliate them, but like, are you into that shit? Man, there's nothing wrong if you enjoy other dudes pantless, but like, Paco, what's going on? Wait, that's his shoes. That's his shoes. That's him right there. He's in frame. Wait, so he was behind him. Watching the stream on his phone the entire time. <laughs> Alright, one- how much- how much time has passed? How much has he really changed? Yellow jacket, there you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you dare cliffhanger me. The return of viral hits. This episode is peak. I think of all the viral hit episodes, this is the best episode. Because, like, the first couple episodes, yes, the initial hit, the fame and success, that's nice. But I think the whole point of that initial early game jump was to let Hobie know that, like, listen, you got lucky in the beginning. But if you just get comfortable now, if you don't grind, you're fucking done. And the point of this episode was to be brought down just absolute despair, rock bottom, humiliation. That's what this title is called, right? For him to actually change himself, right? So this is actually good for him in his overall trajectory of whatever thing he wants to do. If he was kind of, if he didn't get humiliated like this, I think it would have turned out worse. It, it, it sucks that this had to happen, but it's just a shitty experience. But like, you got to bounce back, right? When you take an L in life, you can't just hide and, you know, pity yourself and cry and just accept defeat. You got to fucking use that anger and grind back up. I think a lot of people can relate to situations where you've truly been at rock bottom. You feel like it's everything so hopeless. But at the end of the day, no one will save you except yourself. You should never expect someone else to basically dig in and reach out to save you out of this abyss, right? You have to fucking stare at the abyss and grind back up. And my man has been reading the fucking, watching the Chicken Man videos. My man just been doing push-ups while screaming. And maybe one month has passed. I'm not exactly sure, but it's looking like he's ready. How to beat, you know, a regular person was the video that he was watching, right? So next episode, it's gonna be fucking peak. Don't know what the, what's the point of this Yellow Jacket girl? She was like crying when she witnessed all of Hobie's humiliation. So she might just be the biggest fan there ever was. We'll find that out later. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.